It's the ominous granite tombstone reading Trump, Donald J, with his birth date, 1946, and a blank date of death. The nasty epitaph, made America hate again. Here's Stephen Fabian. This is the spot in New York's famed Central Park where the Trump tombstone appeared out of nowhere on Easter Sunday back in March. The image was seen around the world, an in-your-face blast at the controversial presidential candidate. The Secret Service even opened an investigation viewing it as a possible threat to Trump's life. But who was responsible? It has remained a mystery until now. I feel good about the piece. I didn't want to be um, revealed. His name is Brian Whiteley, and he's a 33-year-old performance artist first identified in today's New York Times. Whiteley has posted a slew of videos online. In this one, he's dressed up as a clown. And this photo shows him dressed as, who else? Donald Trump. We tracked him down at his home in Brooklyn. Some people perceived it as a death threat. Do you have any regrets now putting that thing in the park? I don't. This is not a death threat. I knew it would be perceived many different ways, and I hope that um, they see it more as an art project. Whiteley paid $2,000 for the tombstone, and it was carved by this guy, Michael Cassera, fourth generation owner of Supreme Memorials in Brooklyn. When the picture appears, here's your headstone that you made in your shop here in Central Park. What did you think? What was your reaction? I, I know we're on the news, but was, are you serious? You know, this is, this is, this is not good. Now listen to who Casera supports for president. No, Believe it or not, we happen to be Trump supporters. The Trump campaign hasn't commented on the tombstone, which is now resting in peace at a police warehouse. I don't feel bad. I feel like more artists need to stand up and say stuff. And by the way, the artist Brian Whiteley has not been charged with any crime.